Another week, another doy calm effort. So here we go. We had a KOM effort yesterday, got the KOM, so I'll link that in the description. But this is a lot harder. John Ebsen, former professional cyclist for One Pro Cycling, has it. Uh, outrageous time of 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Uh, average about 21k an hour, up an 8% climb, which in its own doesn't sound crazy, but this climb is pretty steep at some parts, so average speed isn't great. So we've got Paul Van Zwiel ahead. Uh, I'll try and link his channel as well, Van Zwielism. He's always got some good content. Um, so a bit dangerous, that card. Probably should have like reset to be honest because we lost a bit of speed there. But anyway, we surged back up uh, and onto his wheel. So the last couple of weeks I've done it for two weeks. So the first week I, um, was the footage before this, 406 watts and like got 406. Then last week was like 396 watts and got like 409 or 410. Wasn't great. Anyway, this week I was like, I've had enough. I'm not going to get dropped. So around this corner, you'll see I don't follow Paul's wheels exactly because when you're in the wheel, you carry a bit more momentum, especially when you're a little bit lighter. So you don't slow down, it seems, as much. So Paul, sorry, you carry less men. You basically don't slow down as much. So before, I'd be like on Paul's wheel, wouldn't accelerate, and he'd really surge it over the top, and then that's how I got dropped. But this time, I was having absolutely none of it. You can see the it was, road was really slippery. Paul's wheel sort of slipped there because he went on some oil. But I was just, after that part, I was like, right, I'm just going to hold the wheel. So on that part, I made a point of going slightly to the right so that I could keep momentum and just sort of ride uh, there. And it's such a slow part that the draft isn't crazy. But anyway, up here, 12K an hour on an 18% gradient, just holding his wheel, not even thinking about like anything, um, <laughs> of like no giving up, just anything, just like, right, I'm holding the wheel all the way, all the way. Because I know with this climb, the last part sort of flattens off to five, six percent for a bit. And then, then if you're on the wheel, you get a big draft and you recover. Um, so it's pretty useful. So you can see here that what's a pretty spiky, um, and I'm just trying to just hold that wheel. And I sort of like not having to pace yourself because you don't have the like doubt in your mind. You're just like, right, I'm just holding the wheel whatever, it doesn't matter. On this bit here, this is actually hard. He almost started pulling away from me on the flatter parts and I really had to surge to try and get back on. Um, and then on this steep part, I was back on his wheel and then suddenly, because I could hang a bit more speed into it, it just didn't seem as hard this part. But then you can see the watts are up to almost 500 watts. And on these short ones, you really have to sprint. Like you can't mess around um, and sort of like save yourself at the end. You've just got to go full gas from the gun um, and just hope you can sort of hang on. Um, because otherwise I just don't think you can get the same amount of watts out if you try and pace it a bit better and try and hold it. I mean, I'm just like, on these steep ones, when it like, starts ramping up, you've really just got to surge the watts and just try and keep that speed up as much as possible. Here in reality, you can see Paul's just getting out of the saddle. I was going to say, we should be out of the saddle here because it starts to get a little bit steeper and this is really when you just want to surge the power a little bit and just keep it up because after this bit, it really does start to um, sort of flatten off. And this, this stupid thing overtook us and it was really annoying because we basically had to do quite a dangerous thing and go on the inside because we were keeping the segment. Like in reality, we should have done this segment earlier because it does get surprisingly busy um, considering there's not much out there. But I think there was some festival today. So around here, you can see we both sort of back off the power a little bit and then around here, just go full gas on the inside. So that probably lost us maybe a second or two, probably just one second realistically. But anyway, it's straight back onto the wheel. This is steep, but I was like, right, if I get over this, I'm just going to be able to hold his wheel. Um, and Paul's a slightly heavier rider, so on the flats, he'll be going faster than me if we're doing the same um, same watts per kilo. So I was pretty pretty confident. In terms of the watts for this climb, 420 watts. Now, it seems a little high for my weight, like as in me and Paul, I'd have to be weigh like 66 kilos or something for my watts to be that different to Paul's Um ignoring drafting so obviously I think his power meter probably underreads a bit mine overreads a bit and I probably am like 62 today maybe maybe 60 I don't really know I don't weigh myself every day because I don't have scales here um so I'm just guessing I'm normally between 60 and 62 um but anyway um especially earlier in the day so you can see here Paul's still just driving it and this is really when he just surged away on this flatter part and I just couldn't just couldn't keep up but it was a real good effort from me like I actually held some good power last time was 406 this one was 421 watts Finished in a time of 3 minutes 53, um, and I'm now 10 seconds off the KOM of John Ebsen, so can I get it? Paul's at 3 minutes and 50 seconds, so just 3 seconds ahead of me. So it was a real good effort. I was absolutely cooked after this. Like, I've never really, I felt real bad. Um, had a good, like, 10 minute sort of sit, um, and then did some intervals afterwards, uh, some 50, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off for almost 10 minutes. So that was good. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, was a super hard effort. I'm going to try and get the KOM or as close to as I can. I'm not sure it's really going to be possible. 
just because I think I'd have to probably increase my watts by 20 watts, like 460, now nah, probably 440, 450. Uh, it's going to be hard. But anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.